lunch. It's my first day back since uh, the holidays. Yesterday, I stayed home to collect a parcel, a package from uh, Age Spares full of all sorts of goodies that I hadn't bought yet and that were back ordered. So uh, it was really frustrating. Come back all rested, relaxed, ready to go to work, and then I can't. I'm stuck at home waiting for a package. But it's worth the wait. Package is over here. It's a big box under all that junk. Wait, that's not junk. That's Sprite parts. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm having a, a first time moment. Um, for the first time in my life, I have to organize parts um, according to which car they go to. Normally, they just all end up in a big pile, and but, but now um, I have to sort big, big, big Healy parts from little Healy parts. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's warmer here. Uh, it's supposed to get to 17 degrees today outside. That makes it 8 degrees in the shop. <laughs> it still feels kind of cold, but. Uh, I, I'm not wearing a coat, which is a, a first step. Um, yeah, so, so this morning, I didn't even get to uh, start working. First thing I went to do is go rent a trailer. <laughs> Why? Why? You just rented one before you went skiing. Well, um, well, when I picked this up, uh, I didn't get back to, to Luxembourg in time to... Uh, to register it, or to take it to the Centre Douanier, which is the import center, where they give me a special 705 sticker. I had to do this with the Big Healy too, but it was, wasn't was so far away, so I did it all in one trip, which was good because I wasn't pulling a trailer. I had that big truck, much more expensive to rent. Anyway, I got back after six on a Friday, and guess what? Mm, they weren't open. So uh, this morning I, I I pulled a truck down here and put a trailer down here and put the, the Sprite on it and took it up there and they looked at all my documents, gave me a stamp. Uh, the, the lady at the, the center said, hey, weren't you just here in, in a while ago? And I said, yeah, I was here in September. And yeah, she was cool. She asked me where I was gonna, where I get parts for these things. And I said, well, for the moment, I get them in England and they have them shipped over, but... Uh, Brexit's coming. <laughs> she said, you better hurry and order parts. Anyway, um, for now, I just have it unwrapped and eat my lunch in front of it, staring at it. Still don't believe that it's here. It's, uh, it's really the, the achievement of a goal. But uh, I think this afternoon, I need to get working on the big one. Um, maybe I'll sort out some, some of this parts and, and make room first. But... Uh, that's my plan. It's nice to be back in the shop, full of energy, ready to go. So I'm unpacking some of the tools my dad sent with me. Uh, loaded them in the trunk and thought, well, if they make it there, they make it there. And guess what? They made them there. So uh, there's some really great stuff. I am, um, you know, when we packed them up in the in uh, the summer, uh, oh, I, I've got a wrench. Oh, I've got, I've got a half-inch socket. But you know, you never have enough half-inch sockets. And after uh, I started on the big Healy over here, I've been to hardware stores looking for um, tools. Uh, they have uh, they have half-inch ratchets, but all the sockets they have are metric. Nobody nobody buys standard-sized sockets anymore. So. Uh, this really uh, is a treasure to have. Um, plus, there, there's a whole bunch of other, like really specialty stuff. Um, this particular ratchet, I think, might be very handy for all the really tight places that you need to get in the in the Healy, um, or oh, in the big Healy. Now, the Sprite's pretty small too. Um, I have a nice small uh, um, torque wrench. Um, got some rust coming in there. Um, I guess the Sprite sat out a long time and it rained in Texas. It got some water in it because the like the gaskets around the windshield weren't good. Um, so there's, there's some mold on the carpet now. Um, carpet needs replaced anyway, but it's like, eh. 
hate that. Uh, I had it protected in a, in a shed for 20 years, and man, it's here. I'll take care of it now. Um, oh, I was going through all these really cool tools. Um, this one's really cool. This is for uh, adjusting valve timings. Um, valve, not timing, valve spacing. Um, put a socket on there, and it hold, you, you can turn, hold, it, hold the, the, the adjustment in place with the screwdriver bit right there while you turn this and tighten it up. It keeps it from moving too much after you get it gapped. Uh, what else? This little T-handled uh, quarter-inch driver. Uh, I, I really hope I don't need this. Valve spring compressor. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm going to have to take the head off the Sprite to check out things, but uh, I really don't want to get into a position where I'm uh, where I have to rebuild an engine. I can if I need to, but that's a whole nother ball game. And a whole bunch of screwdrivers uh, and wrenches. Old Craftsman toolbox, that's always welcome. Um, <laughs> here's, here's the winch. Uh, I packed a winch in the, in the Sprite. Um, thinking I need it when I got over here. But I uh, had bought one in the meantime because I needed to pull an engine. Then there's some uh, really cool body body tools. This really ancient um, body hammer. I, I'm going to clean that up. That's that's really nice. Nice flat head on it. This one I know we bought when we oh when we painted the sprite, but I don't remember which time. If it was when we painted it red or if it, when we painted it green. Wait, is that red paint on there? That might tell. There's a bunch of white paint. I wonder where that came from. I don't know. That's always welcome. Got a new uh, pair of vice grips. Oh, and some dollies. Oh, my daddy gave me a dolly. This one's very cool. It looks ancient. There's some nice, nice curve to it. And, and this uh, nice... That'd be great for body lines and stuff. And this one, I remember growing up, wondering what the heck you do with this. There's some markings on it. I can't read it though. Nice, nice curves on this. It's it's heavy. So those those are a welcome addition to my um, new dollies. You know, old dollies. You know, they they got a it's a different feel. They need cleaned up, of course, but. Uh, now I'm very happy to have all that. So to my father, thank you very much. It's like Christmas, oh my gosh. So uh, there's been a mystery that I really haven't understood. Um, I've, I've looked a lot online, watching videos. Somebody will show this part. And I'll pause it and try and figure out how it works. Well, I figured it out. So let me let me share it with you. It's it's I know I've obsessed over this and it's really stupid. There's a, a piece of rubber that goes around on the inside. It goes on this this strip and this strip. Then there's these little corner pieces that go in here and on 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 this side. But I couldn't figure out how the rubber attaches across the sill because well look this is this is the aluminum uh, trim piece that goes over over the sill after everything's painted and it gets installed and there is no lip on it nothing to attach the the trim to the rubber so uh, well, it had to be replaced anyway so I bought new ones these are white because they're it's a protective coating on it they're really shiny and they have the, the, the correct pattern. So when this goes in there, more or less like that, look, it's different. It has this lip on it. See that? And that's where the, the trim attaches. Mystery solved. I know it's stupid and I've been fighting it and going, what, how, how does that work? Well, now I know how that works, like that. It's not such a mystery after all. 
Uh, I just couldn't find it anywhere. I'd see cars that were completely disassembled, uh, and they, they'd have the corner brackets in on each side, and nothing in the middle. And then I'd see cars that are completely assembled, and they have this, the rubber piece in place, and it's like, how is it there? What's the mystery? Well, mystery solved. <laughs> Somebody, when they made that last repair, probably just took a hand hammer and beat that over, and yeah, I was too deaf to see it. Anyway, um, I was hoping when the parts came that that would be the case, but uh, and it turned out to be, so yay, mystery solved. So it's one of those moments to give back. Uh, if you notice, these aren't typical shop tools. Uh, <laughs> These, these are my wife's. We picked these up when we uh, went to the States to visit my family and get the Sprite. They uh, came over under the seat. Uh, I guess sitting in Texas didn't do them very good because they're uh, certainly a lot rustier than when we found them. So uh, I told her, hey, uh, I'll, I'll take them to the shop and uh, sandblast them for you. Well, I don't think I don't think they need sandblasted. I'm gonna hit them with a wire wheel, see if they clean clean up. Uh, sandblasting, I don't think is necessary. We'll see, we'll try the wire wheel first. This is the biggest of them, so, and uh, probably the worst. So I'll do a little before and after for you. Um, I'm just using a, a wire brush on a drill to you know, knock the scale off of them. Well, I'd eat off of that. Well, okay, not yet. It's in these washed. Washed. Needs washed, Ma. Needs washed and seasoned again. Uh, learned something about this one. Started uh, working on it and uh, started seeing the sign. It's Wagner Ware from Sydney. I guess now over here I have to pronounce it Wagner Ware. All right, so here's the, the, the finished product. We have uh, the corner piece there. It lines up flush there and down here. I'm doing this because you know, I couldn't find it anywhere online. And then this one, just in the corner there. And this piece goes up to the top there. And I've started on the other side as well, tacking that one in place. Um, down in this corner, you'll see exactly why I haven't uh, why well, I didn't start sandblasting before leaving for a week. Um, yeah, this, this, this sheet metal's been exposed uh, for a long time. Floorboards went in a long time ago. But you can start to see the surface rust creeping in. So I've been sandblasting. Um, I haven't figured out a way to show you sandblasting without sandblasting my, my camera. My Well, it's just a phone, but um, it's the camera I use. Um, I had some problems this morning uh, keeping the compressor running due to electrical issues, uh, but that seems to finally have been sorted. Um, and, and hey, check it out. It's before and after, all in one shot. You can see in the deepest of pits, there's still a little bit, but you know, this, this is still my first run. Um, I'm gonna get the heavy stuff off, and then I'll, I'll see about going back. Um, yeah, I ended up using a different, I was gonna use glass beads, but instead I'm using this, which is uh, aluminum oxide. I think this would be equivalent to like a, a 60 grit, um, uh, sandpaper, and, you know, if you glued that onto paper, that's what it would be. Gun's working pretty good. It's a bit like uh, reverse painting. You move the gun, and uh, it, it just strips this away. Um, from here to here, on just this one face, is about 10 minutes. Heavy rust, but um, 10 minutes, it's, it's done. Where there's been paint, um, it's a lot easier. Well, easier. It's a lot quicker. It, this isn't hard work. I'm just standing here holding the gun. Um, I wish I'd bought more of this uh, the, the sand, though, because uh, I keep having to stop to scoop it up. 
but uh, I wanted to test the sand and it was a bit expensive and but I'm happy with it so I'll just keep scooping it up today probably pick up some more of it tomorrow so uh, this is half a day's work <clears throat> oh man my voice sounds really funny um, very dusty uh, slow but uh, it's really satisfying work to go from that to that just by uh, standing there holding something is pretty cool I, I'm covered with dust it's gotten inside every air I'm, I'm wearing this uh, bunny suit but uh, it's it's I don't think it's made any difference it's gone everywhere feeling very gritty my my teeth feel like I just been to the dentist and use as that uh, that cleaner on your teeth and never quite rinses all out for a while anyway tomorrow uh, I, I'm gonna stop and get more of the the sand stuff I'm gonna leave it on the ground um, for tonight let it dry out I have I've recycled this stuff like eight nine times and it's uh, I keep losing it. I <laughs> I probably have about half of what I started with. Um, maybe more now. I, I just rotated the car, which uh, dumped a lot of it out. But uh, I just had one bucket of it, so I'm going to need a couple more to get through with this. Anyway, it's really cool. I'm very happy with this. Uh, it's It's making the... The car transforms at a certain point when when everything starts becoming a uniform color. So this sandblast, it, it looks almost primer gray. It's not, it's still a bit splotchy, but it's getting so much closer than, than like this side where it's just all blah. And this side it likes, wow. Anyway, uh, I have one light in here. You see this big, big, stripe through there with my uh, uh, blast shield on I <laughs> I can't see really very clearly and, and shadows like that I end up with <laughs> just a big stripe of of rust which is kind of funny all right I'm gonna clean up and go home call it a day very happy with the progress today um, I'm estimating now that I've done a bit of this oh the church is saying it's time to go home one ding. Um, I'm estimating that with uh, this done, it will take uh, with this much done in an afternoon. It will take me. Well, certainly through the rest of the week. Maybe even on on Monday, I'll still be doing a bit of blasting. That gives me uh, today's Wednesday, so Thursday, Friday. Mm, I think I'm gonna need more time than that.
It's been a weird week, but it's Friday and I made some progress. Um, Monday I was off picking up a package. Tuesday spent most of the morning um, uh, taking care of the special import thing for the Sprite. Um, Wednesday I uh, did a lot of so it finally started sandblasting, but had uh, problems with the compressor. Thursday, had a terrible headache and stayed home uh, after doing some errands in the morning. Uh, picked up some more sandblasting material and stuff. And then today, I spent, well, from 10 o'clock till well, it's almost 6 o'clock now, uh, sandblasting. Made some pretty good progress, as you can see. It uh, looks like metal again instead of rust. There's a uh, a lot of spots that I've that I've missed. You you can see them all over the place, and the reason for that is uh, visibility is becoming an issue. This is what I can see from inside my helmet. <laughs> um, Every once in a while, I've been taking the helmet off and uh, washing it down, but then it's all scratched up. So I have some polishing compound. I've been giving it a rough polish just around so I can see through it good enough to sandblast. Um, I was wearing the uh, the bunny suit, the white bunny suit. Waste of time. Uh, it just the sand just goes straight through it. Uh, here's what I've been wearing. It's the, the blast hood that I, uh, sandblasting hood that I ordered, and the, I ordered ordered it and came broken, the, the face shield. So, uh, so I told them, and they said, oh, we'll send you a new one. They sent it the same way, it came broken again. So I took the blast shield off, uh, the, the face mask part of it off. And I'm using it just to, to direct the sand um, instead of directly down my shirt, down my back. Um, now I have the respirator on under that. Bought a new respirator on, on Thursday as well. That's made a big difference. Um, my, my tissues aren't um, multicolored anymore. Sorry, that's gross detail, but I think that contributed to my big headache on, on Thursday. Um, so the new respirator is much, much better. It uh, seals a lot tighter. And it's a lot more comfortable, a lot more, uh, has a lot more surface area to let a layer allow air into anyway i'm kind of rambling on so uh this the rust is really slow to get off um but this is the bottom of the car where mo most of the rust was at least the heavy stuff so when i flip it over and um well, let me show you on the other side. On this side, there's a lot more paint. Paint comes off really quick. It goes straight down to the, you know, it just kind of dissolves in front of your eyes. And then you, you can see the, the, the gray metal underneath, which is kind of cool. So I'm hoping the top part goes a lot quicker. Um, inside, I, I've done both of the wheel wells, which are really heavily, both of the rear wheel wells inside, or at the bottom of the wheel wells, um, which were really badly rusted. Uh, I still have front and top and bottom, inside and outside of the, of the uh, front wheel wells. And those are really badly rusted, so I'm expecting those to take a long time as well. And and then the engine compartment. So, uh, wow, how long is it going to take? A long time. This is this is slow. Um, I think when you hire somebody to come do it, they have a bigger compressor. It throws more sand. I think this is the sort of thing that can warp panels and stuff. I don't think this this little um, setup that I have going on would would warp the metal. Um, I see an occasional spark, but uh, I don't feel any heat coming off of it. The only heat I can feel is from the, ra the, the air compressor running in the back. Anyway, wanted to give you an update, but it's Friday, 
Uh, my wife has steak sandwiches planned for dinner, so uh, I'm going home. If you like this video, click the like button below. If you want to come along on the ride as we complete this project, click the subscribe button. If you want to make sure Google reminds you every time there's a new video, click the alarm bell. Your support is very much appreciated.